It looks completely lost. I would play knight f3. I don't even know where this queen goes, but I'm going to take this rook on e1. f2 is loose, Tanya. Bishop c6 is a threat. How do you actually keep your f2 pawn protected? Because if you're queen e2, then when I take and you take back, I bishop c6 at the end, winning a second exchange. I think this is hopeless at this stage for Magnus. He's down materially right now, down a piece, but the e1 knight is have, hanging. The rook on a8 is hanging. The bishop on a7 hangs. Pieces all over the board are loose. The c2 bishop will be picked up. Will black just end up with an extra piece? Laurent should take the w against someone who's been his boss, Magnus Carlsen, mm. the former world champion. Weird to say. Uh, he has employed Laurent Fressinet as a second on his team, if I'm not mistaken. And this is looking like the Frenchman, who is formerly over 2,700. And Queenie too, trying to hold on to the F2 pawn. As you mentioned, Robert, it's time to hit that knight, destabilize the defender, and step by step. Fresene gaining on the position, on the advantage. This, will, this looks like it's going to end in checkmate. You've got to go back all the way to H1. Queen G4 coming in, and always a check can be blocked with Queen to G7. Threatening a mate, offering a queen trade, game over, lights out from Magnus Carlsen. I mean, this really was a masterclass. I feel like I learned a lot, and that's over. This is official. Fressinet has won. Every move he played was the best move.